West in Iowa, four and five was his top ten this season. And remember, folks, he is a freshman performing on this sport's biggest stage. Some train a lifetime in hopes of achieving what Andrew Long has in the sport of wrestling. Eventually, that persistence will pay off, and you know, I just kept going after it and wanted to get that takedown more. Two-time All-American, Big Ten champion, and national runner-up top the long list of accomplishments. But off the mat, Long has made headlines as well, with a criminal rap sheet that easily overshadows his biggest accomplishments. The Fight Network presents this very program brought to you by our friends at Kemen. This is Takedown. Few know Long's life story better than Takedown wrestling host Scott Casper and close family friend Steve Foster. It's very unique when you actually see a kid grow into what you think he's going to be. And sometimes in the wrestling community, it demands so much in that sport. You've wrestled yourself, I wrestled for eight years. It demands a lot, and you can get the priorities maybe switched around a little bit. Long was dismissed from the Cyclone Wrestling Program in 2010, where he placed second in the nation after several run-ins with the law, mostly related to drinking. But he found a new home as a Nittany Lion under the man who recruited him to Iowa State. Great success on the mat, Andrew did. And then he took off for Penn State with uh, Cal Sanderson, who was his coach at the time at Iowa State. So uh, cheered, still cheering for him as a human being and uh, missed him, you know, representing Iowa State at the time, but uh, as a human being, still cheering for Andrew for Strong. There's your winner, a come from behind win for Andrew Long. It was the kind of support Andrew Long would end up needing the most. Following his third place finish in the 2011 National Tournament, Long was accused of raping a 55-year-old woman. He told investigators he didn't remember the incident because he was drunk and later pleaded guilty to indecent assault and served nine months in a Pennsylvania prison. Uh, pressures from inside the sport, from outside the sport, turned him into being a different person than we knew him. I tried to build him up and lift him up, and, and he, he used to write me letters when he was uh, in prison. He wrote me some letters, and I cherish those letters. I can tell you right where they're at my house, and they're full of um, resiliency. It's full of compassion for life, for getting back on the highway. What was the rock bottom for you, and have you hit rock bottom? The rock bottoms, I guess, when you decide to stop digging, you know? I mean, if you're the one digging, you can stop. But uh, for me, it was like dragging my family, you know, through a lot of the consequences that were of my own doing. You know, I made these choices, and now my family's got to be the recipient of that. Did that hurt the most when you look back and you saw how yeah. parents were hurt by your decisions, you think? Yeah. I'd say, you know, just having to explain, uh, you know, here's what I did again. Don't want you to be mad at me. Don't want you to, you know, think of me as a failure or something. And so it was kind of those things of, you know, how am I going to explain this to them and you know, what are they going to think? Beat him to the punch! As Long worked to escape from his bottom in life, one of the first to extend a helping hand as he completed counseling was Grandview head wrestling coach Nick Mitchell. I just started having some conversations with Andrew and try to spend some time with him and really get a grasp on where he was in his life and, and what changes he had made and kind of who he was as a person. And once we got to that point where I was comfortable really being serious about it, that's when we started kind of moving forward, talking to the administration and everybody else. We want to provide another chance for you. We want to provide you to uh, move your life forward. We want to help you kind of get back on track and succeed. The idea was to have Andrew, now 26, enroll at Grandview and join the Viking wrestling team. His physical ability was never in doubt, but his past wasn't easy to overlook. Andrew is a registered sex offender. Is it hard for some people to get past that, you think? Um, I'm sure it is. I mean, the I, I guess just the term in itself with all of us probably invokes a little fear you know I mean you have a stigma attached to it the best thing we did was um, we had a lot of people involved in this decision you know from our president the vice president you know lots of members of the cabinet um, each of them had some time to sit down and just talk to Andrew and, and that was that was the 
the best thing we could have done because it, it gave everybody um, a little more sense of just who he was. You know, same thing I was looking for, just trying to trying to figure out really where he was at in his life. And I think that's the thing. If anybody gets to know Andrew and spend some time with him, you'd feel comfortable with the situation, and you know, and some of those red flags disappear. You know, his grace is sufficient. I stand on a lot of scriptures. You know, if if I have questions with you know ethical decisions or um, moral decisions or kind of what's right and what's not right, then you know I just go back to his word and read that and kind of discover the truth in there, and then that really keeps me focused on the straight and narrow. Leaning on his newfound faith, Long has managed to stay sober for three years. It's a new day, and I expect Long to be able to go all the way. After becoming the first Viking wrestler to ever win a Midlands championship, Long continues working to stay off his back on the mat, and more importantly, in life. The story of wrestling is second chances. There are so few undefeateds out there, so few gold medalists out there. That means everybody else has finished in second, third, or fourth. So let's face it, the sport embraces second, third, and fourth. He is getting a second chance, and some would say even a third chance. Life is about uh, getting restarted, because life will put you on your back sometimes. Sometimes life will put you on your back, and that's what's great about the sport of wrestling. It teaches you to get off your back. God's got the show now, so. There is no doubt Andrew Long is a phenomenal wrestler. He is currently rated number one at 149 pounds, but what if somebody without his wrestling ability and his rap sheet wanted to attend Grandview? We got a statement from the university president, Kent Henning, to address that concern. The statement reading in part, Andrew was treated no differently from any other student, athlete or not. After our research on Andrew was complete, we came to believe that Andrew has resolved his past issues and he was admitted with some appropriate restrictions. As we do with all students, Andrew is being given the support he needs to be successful. Just one of those restrictions was Andrew, because of his status, cannot live on campus in housing. Meanwhile, the Iowa Coalition Against Sex Abuse reminds everybody, no matter what happens, there will always be a victim in this story. They're interested in hearing what kind of treatment Andrew continues to receive to make sure he never repeats his past. For Local 5 News, I'm Elias Johnson. We are Iowa.